We're here celebrating the hard work that we do here in the state of New York as EOCs. We have a, a message that we try to send that there's a place for every New Yorker at SUNY, and there's no entity that better reflects that message than the EOC. We want to make sure that all of our leaders understand the value of EOC, the impact that EOC makes. When I say EOC, I mean job opportunities. When I say EOC, I mean pathways to careers. When I say EOC, I mean breaking generational poverty and turning it into generational wealth. We want our young people to be working in the fields that they love and enjoy and appreciate. Attending MEOC, I had a chance to learn how to expand my thinking skills so that I would be able to think as a CNA and not as a regular student. And I'm so grateful to be a part of this program. In the coming years, I plan to return to school for a BSN in nursing and also a master's to become a nurse practitioner. It's not just about skilling up and being able to build a career. It's also those wraparound services because so many people have challenges what we do is we try to create an environment where everyone can feel safe. And when I say safe, I mean free from judgment. For Syracuse EOC to give me the opportunity that they've given me, I feel as if I'm no longer a person with that dark past. I'm no longer the person who was incarcerated. Now I'm looking towards the future. I've been stepped on, smushed, and left out to dry. I wasn't doing that anymore. I had to get up. I had to recognize that no one could even help save me until I made the decision to save myself. I am so proud of you, all the students that are in the room, because you understand that this is an opportunity for you and you're taking it. Good for you. Having women of color with doctorates as instructors at EOC speaks life into the little girl who wants to be a doctor. Dr. Sargent shares some of the same struggles my family endured, such as coming here by themselves, not speaking English, and having nothing and no one to help them. Having someone who reminds me of my family instructing me at EOC is a priceless experience that feeds the fire within me to not only make my family proud, but set the standard for generations that come after me. I run into students all the time. You can imagine in my 33 years, I run into them in the supermarket, the bank, and they will come up to me and say, you know, thank you for changing my life. So it's all about changing people's life and getting them on the right track to a career. The workforce is going through a shakeup right now, and we want to make sure that our constituents, our community members, our New Yorkers have the resources to compete in our ever-evolving workforce. We know the struggles in our hospitals, our nursing homes, our ERs, and this is how we change that. This is opportunities for individuals to reinvent themselves. I come from a time when you were told that you were never going to amount to nothing. But well, here I am, a warrior of the SCCOC. I was working as a dishwasher. I told my boss, I said, I have to move on to the next trajectory of my destiny. I am proud and I am passionate to be a graduate from John Hopkins Career Business School. The EOC programs with this commitment to excellence and opportunity has been a guiding light for many of us. Proving that education is not a privilege reserved for a select few, but a right that should be accessible to all. When we invest in EOC, it pays a dividend 10 times over. Every single year, every single year, without a doubt, I put in money for Bronx EOC because I know that this works. We talk about violence in communities. We talk about unemployment. We talk about all the things that are disparaging our people. And the truth is, if we invest in COC, we would have less of that. What they're planning on doing with that investment is ensuring that people who have been written out of the economic prosperity of our country can get engaged. When you can find some place in your community that welcomes you, that gives you the skills, that allows people to be able to chart their own course, it makes a difference. If we want to see our communities transform, we must educate. Educate them so that when they finish getting the degrees and the certificates that they have, they can do the work and move out of the communities or stay and flourish. We want to make sure we lift up our scholars, that 
that we provide the programs that are necessary for them. And that is what EOC does each and every day.